Why are there not more people talking about this mind-bending idea? It's a question that has intrigued philosophers, scientists, and even everyday thinkers for years. From ancient philosophers like Plato, who pondered the nature of reality in his allegory of the cave, to modern-day scientists, the question of what is real has always been a topic of fascination. Is our reality just a simulation? Could everything we experience be nothing more than a complex computer program? This idea, popularized by movies like The Matrix, suggests that our senses are being manipulated by an advanced computer system. Just imagine if future civilizations could create simulations as real as our world today. The possibilities are endless and mind-blowing. Think about video games. They have evolved from simple 8-bit graphics to incredibly realistic environments. Now, imagine this technology a thousand years from now. With tech getting crazier every day, this idea isn't so far-fetched. We are already seeing advancements in virtual reality and artificial intelligence that were once thought impossible. Companies like Neuralink are working on brain-computer interfaces that could blur the line between reality and simulation. First up, the computational argument. This theory suggests that as our technology grows, so does our ability to create ultra-real simulations. The idea is that if we can create simulations that are indistinguishable from reality, then it's possible that we are already living in one. Imagine a world where every detail is meticulously crafted by advanced algorithms. This concept is supported by the rapid advancements in machine learning and quantum computing. If civilizations keep advancing, we might just be living in one of their simulations. Next, the fine-tuning argument. This one is particularly fascinating. It suggests that the universe is so perfectly calibrated for life that it seems designed. The universe is just perfect for life. Coincidence? Or is it designed that way? Scientists have noted that even slight changes in the fundamental constants of nature would make life impossible, or perhaps we're part of a finely tuned digital world. Then, the abundance argument. This theory takes it a step further. If creating simulations is easy, there could be tons of them. Imagine countless simulated worlds, each with its own unique characteristics. This idea is supported by the concept of the multiverse, which suggests that there are many parallel universes. Meaning, odds are, we're in a simulation rather than a base reality. But hold on, let's consider the counterpoints. These are just as important. The lack of evidence is a biggie. We can't test or prove it, making it speculative. This is a major hurdle for the simulation theory. Without empirical evidence, it remains a philosophical question rather than a scientific one. Without concrete evidence, it's hard to take this theory seriously. Another issue is the resource constraints. Simulating an entire universe? That's a computational beast. The amount of processing power required would be astronomical. Even with future advancements, it's hard to imagine a computer capable of such a feat. The incompleteness argument says our universe is too chaotic to be a design simulation. There are too many variables and unpredictable elements. The second law of thermodynamics, for example, states that entropy always increases, leading to disorder. Too many random quirks, right? Lastly, the subjective argument. This one delves into the nature of consciousness. Can consciousness really be simulated perfectly? Can a machine truly replicate the human experience? Philosophers like Descartes have long debated the nature of consciousness and whether it can be reduced to mere computation. That's a tough one to crack. The complexities of human thought and emotion are incredibly difficult to mimic. Even with advanced AI, we are far from understanding the full depth of human consciousness. So, what do you think? Are these theories convincing? or do they raise more questions than answers? The debate continues, and it's one that challenges our understanding of reality itself. Are we living in a simulation? It's a question that may never be fully answered, but it's fascinating to ponder. 
The implications are profound, affecting everything from our sense of self to our understanding of the universe. Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear your take on this intriguing topic. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, your perspective adds to the richness of this ongoing conversation. And hey, if you enjoyed this brain-bending journey, like this video and hit that subscribe button. Your support helps us explore more mind-blowing ideas. We dive into the unknown to bring you the most fascinating theories and discoveries. Until next time, keep questioning reality. Who knows what other mysteries are out there waiting to be uncovered? The journey of discovery is endless, and we're just getting started.